Lawyer, my client is trapped inside a penny. Judge, what? Lawyer, he's innocent. Judge, you're going to jail with him. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey everyone, Luke Lee here. I am a television and film actor and a practicing lawyer in Singapore with a focus on family law. I'm a lawyer, but also I love dank memes. Without further ado, Meme Reacts. When everyone is arguing over some legal issue and you as a law student wait so you can hit everyone with actual law and its interpretation. This happens so much. As law students or lawyers, we can't wait to jump in and like hit them with the legal interpretation. I think it's the same thing with doctors. Oh, you graduated law school. That's nice. I'll have a mocha frappuccino. Okay, this one is a um, joke that I have cracked before because of my lame sense of humor. So obviously, as you know, like a barista, someone who makes uh, you know frappuccinos, coffee in general, right? Uh, here, I think he's referring to. I think he's referring to a barrister. A barrister is someone who has uh, graduated law school and obviously passed the bar exam and is admitted as a barrister of laws in um, usually England or Wales, depending on where you take your exam. So this is a really a bit of a clever word play here. Client, I read online about insert irrelevant legal concept. Why isn't it applicable to my case? Can you explain it to me? Me inside. You wouldn't get it. Nobody gets it. <laughs> Nobody listens. Why are we not using it for my case, right? Um, what can I say to that? I, well, basically, we went to law school. We got called to the bar. We've been practicing. We know the realities of the situation. So we have advised you based on these realities. So if we don't use that case law, it's because, first of all, either it's overruled, or there's more persuasive case law, or it's simply not practical because it doesn't fit your factual matrix or your scenario. That's why. So please, clients, do not do your own um, research. Leave it up to the lawyers because that's what you pay us for, right? And we have your best interests at heart, so we will do the research for you and present you with the best options, and you can choose them from there. Hmm, which looks like a bit of a Valentine's Day card. It says, uh, I love you. Do you have evidence to support your statement? <laughs> this is probably something I would say, yeah. This is probably why I don't have any girlfriends. Go friend. <laughs> Your Honor, he's the one who let the dogs out. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Yeah, honestly, I wish we could bring dogs in court. Klein giving me some bullshit ass story of what went down. Me getting paid to listen to this nonsense and having to deal with the bar later because the partner doesn't want to. This has happened uh, to me so many times. Uh, it happened to pretty much every lawyer, I think. When clients come to you, especially for family law clients, they're going to be very, very distraught, very, very emotional, and um, everything's happening for them immediately, right away. So it's very, very sudden for them. And in, when someone's in that kind of state, it's very difficult for them to sequester or split apart the different timelines of what has happened leading up to the breakdown of the marriage, for example. So when they come to you, what you have to do is you have to listen to their story, but you have to actually ask some questions to sort of elicit a kind of um, response so you understand the facts. Because at the end of the day, you have to present those facts to court and you actually have to um, advocate on your client's behalf to make sure that they get a good resolution for the marriage. I'm not like a regular lawyer, I'm a cool lawyer. Yeah, I think every lawyer wishes they were a cool lawyer. That's before they, they actually start practicing. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yep, I'm a cool lawyer. Advocates when their children make a punctuation mistake. Oh dear, oh dear, gorgeous. Advocates when their interns make a punctuation mistakes. That's actually pretty true. I mean, uh, for, for interns, we are generally speaking, I was an intern once as well. You go in, you're at the bottom of the food chain. The learning curve is really steep, you know, and when you make a mistake, especially at the beginner level, for simple things like punctuation, grammar, um, how you spell things, how things are worded in a sentence, these are really important things because um, words and the wording of things, these are the bread and butter of how we draft and how we do law, you know. So what are y'all in for? Okay, here we have a laundry machine with money inside. I'm gonna guess that's money laundering. 
Um, and then we have a salt shaker and a, a battery. Usually a salt and battery come together. They are known as the sort of violent crime. So the difference obviously between uh, assault and battery is that assault is the intention to cause harm and the um, so and battery meaning the actual physical harm. So um, let's say battery is intentionally um, harming someone without their consent um, and it could be anything. It could be let's say if I were to tap you on the shoulder and it's not something that you consented to, that could be considered battery. And assault being the uh, intention to cause harm. So if someone uh, believes that you intend to cause, cause them harm, that is assault. Aggravated assault is some, something with uh, a physical weapon, an actual weapon that's aggravated assault. So um, these are all things that you can land up in jail for. Um, so that's why this meme is funny. I think it's pretty, it's pretty smart meme. Um, not something which is like super memeable. I think it's more of a comic strip kind of thing. Not my meme. <laughs> Not my kind of meme. What did you study? Law. <laughs> it is very, very difficult for uh, someone to go through law school just because of the amount of pressure it is to actually go through each year. Um, definitely law school is both fun and also very, very challenging. So I can completely understand why Johnny Depp is hugging this boy in this scene. My face after giving a new associate advice that works. I think that happens for every lawyer with, uh, with some level of experience. It is funny and also embarrassing when you give advice that doesn't work. Lawyer, my client is trapped inside a penny. Judge, what? Lawyer, he's in a cent. Judge, you're going to jail with him. Oh my god. This attorney is clearly a super super great um, joker. I would never try this kind of thing in court, but that's super funny. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty funny. I think this is freaking hilarious. This is my kind of joke. This is from Toothless. I love that series, okay. You can see I watch a lot of cartoons and anime. Um, me representing, me presenting arguments on, on a case we have very little chance of obtaining the order. The judge. <laughs> My partner who doesn't know much about the case but turned up to support me. <laughs> okay, um, this hasn't happened to me because my supervising solicitors, generally uh, they don't come to uh, the court with me just because we're expected to manage our own files and also it would drive the cost up uh, for legal costs if your senior lawyer or uh, would come along with you because that's another lawyer attending the, the case, right? Obtaining the order, basically whenever there's an application, you would try to get an order of court because of the order of court is enforceable. So once you get an order of court, you can enforce it in law and then that will allow you to make sure that the person does something or doesn't do something. You would have to do your best for every case, even if there's very little chance. As a lawyer, you gotta do your homework and just go there and just do your best because you're not representing yourself, you're representing your client. I became a lawyer to make a difference in Singapore. I think when you graduate law school, you always feel like you wanna make a difference. I think that's why a lot of us uh, join the uh, study law and actually join the legal profession because we wanna make some kind of difference. Uh, put aside the, 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 the salary, put aside the prestige of, of being a lawyer. I think a big part is trying to make a difference. I like to think at least that in right now what I'm doing, I still do. I do make a difference and I do help people achieve um, some form of closure and move on with their lives. All right, everyone. So we've come back to the end of Legal Meme Reacts. So right now we've reviewed so many memes. I really enjoyed them. And if you see any other memes that you would like to see, leave them in the comments below or suggest some concepts or things you want me to react to in the future. Once again, my name is Luke Lee. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.